There's a whole, let's say, wave of people who believe they've been chipped by the government against their will. They're asking if we can remove it, scan the bodies because it's controlling them, downloading forts, all sorts of stuff. And there's a religious argument around the mark of the beast, I'm the devil, etc, etc. So, yeah, there's interesting groups out there who really don't like this concept. Uh, the sole convenience of the chip I've got is to open doors currently. So, all the offices I can scan my hand to enter. My house has the same system. So we've yeah, retrofitted one of the cars before so you can start the car by putting your hand on the steering wheel. It's very hard to lose your hand versus losing an ID card, so technically like Terminator sort of style. It's exactly the same technology as in credit, debit cards, passports, a um, whole range of tech out there. So you could in theory replace your keys, your wallet and your passport with a single chip in your hand. So travel borders, use it for payments and get into and out of buildings without having to carry any of that tech. We're working on some projects around blood glucose readings. So if you're diabetic, the tech we've got is you scan the chip in your hand, it takes the reading, you don't have to prick your finger. Currently if you turn up at an A&E unconscious without anything on you, they have no idea who you are, what could potentially be wrong with you. We can easily store basic medical data in the chip which can be encrypted and then read by a doctor or hospital using a special device so they can just scan your hand, bring up who you are, name, address and basic medical records. A whole range of security companies interested in the ultimate security sort of concepts that no one knows you've got it. Um, you can hide the readers so you wouldn't even know there's a reader available and it's in your hand, it's quite secure. And with storing data, it's more secure than storing it in the cloud where it can be hacked into. To hack into the chip, someone needs to stand there and hold a reader against your hand, so you probably notice. So people daily inquire to be microchipped. Give it 10, 15 years, I imagine it'll probably be pretty commonplace. And I imagine as demographics change, younger demographics see no sort of harm reason, any doubt around having a microchip fitted, that will become more commonplace. I'm sure it'll probably be an everyday occurrence. Fitting a chip is sort of like a trip to the dentist, I suppose. It's a local anaesthetic, so it goes numb. And there's a small incision with a scalpel, then a needle is used to inject the chip. Literally a two minute process, plaster put on, heals in a couple of days, that's it. I've got the chip fitted just between fingers there. You can't actually feel it under the skin. It's about the size of a grain of rice, so it's very small. I think someone wanted to fit it in the base of their foot, but we couldn't really work out why. We just refused that one. Uh, back of the neck is another common one, so lots of people want it in the back of their neck. But currently, if you want to open a door, that would mean you need to swipe the back of your neck on a reader. It doesn't really work particularly well, so... Yeah, generally people opt for the hand.